Judging from pop hits of the last decade, everybody seems to love being up all night. Like apparently staying awake until sunrise is now required as part of a super fun can't stop won't stop party. But when it comes to insomnia, literally no one is having a good time. When your favorite ASMR videos can't lure you into dreamland, it becomes less of a party and more of a problem. So what's happening when we have insomnia and what causes it? The by the book definition of insomnia is, you guessed it, the inability to fall asleep, typically for three or more nights per week. If you consistently wake up and can't fall back asleep, that's also considered insomnia. If this is happening to you for a month or longer, then anti congrats, you have chronic insomnia. Experts haven't been able to nail down the specific physiological changes that trigger insomnia, which kind of sucks because it's one of the most common sleep disorders out there and becoming even more common as more people get smartphones and social media accounts. I know I sound like a grandma right now, but facts are facts, America. If you suffer from insomnia, you already know it sucks. But here's why it sucks on a biological level. Insomniacs have high levels of cortisol, the stress hormone, and adrenaline, the fight or flight hormone. Mix them both together and you got yourself a little bowl of absolute panic. Unfortunately, insomniacs can't control when this concoction is at work, and it seems like it happens the least at work, as in their job. When they're in this state of heightened cortisol and adrenaline at night, every little noise, flash of light, or passing thought gets magnified, leaving them with what's called sleep inefficiency. That means that the amount of time they spend sleeping divided by the amount of time spent in bed is, to use a medical term, not good. The lower that number is, the worse your sleep efficiency is. We tend to forget just how crucial sleep is when we are awake and going about our day. When we sleep, our bodies finally have a chance to regenerate and relax. But besides leaving you with bloodshot eyeballs and zero energy, lying awake for hours and hours also causes your metabolism to rise. A higher metabolism usually sounds awesome, but trust and believe that insomnia is not the way to get your bikini body. When you don't give your body a chance to rest, your metabolism will continue burning through your body's stored glucose, and your brain needs that glucose to be able to function properly in the morning. Even if you're able to get some low quality sleep in, you'll still wake up feeling confused, disoriented, and you guessed it, crazy tired the next day. If this is seriously bumming you out, here's a weird silver lining. Studies have shown that people with chronic insomnia have more neuroplasticity. With more neuroplasticity, the motor cortices of their brains are firing more than those of people who sleep well, and that allows insomniacs to adapt more quickly to stimuli and situations. Being more adaptable is legit the dream of evolution. Solution, but when it costs you lack of sleep, doesn't really seem like you're furthering the development of our species at all. So how can insomniacs maintain their neuroplasticity while also getting more Z's? The condition can be treated with sleep medication, but only for a short time in order to avoid becoming dependent. The best bet is long-term strategies like sticking to a strict sleep schedule in order to establish a good circadian rhythm. Nope, it's not like a dance rhythm. It's our body's natural cycle that regulates when we sleep and when we're awake. It's also helpful to make sure you have a good wind down routine to get your sleep environment nice and comfortable. Speaking of environment, you gotta have a sleep only policy with your bed. No more casually watching TV or scrolling through social apps while you're all comfy on your blankets and pillows. It's too confusing for your sweet sleep deprived brain. And yes, we are aware you are on a social app right this very moment, and while we always appreciate your gracious eyeballs, we still want you to not be a zombie during the day. So if you're literally in bed right now and can't fall asleep, wait till this episode is over, then immediately put your phone on Do Not Disturb and do some deep breathing. Seriously, even if you were planning on watching more Pretty Smart, I am telling you that it can wait until tomorrow. And if you aren't in bed yet, the same goes for you once you slap on those pajamas. You heard it here first, y'all. Video views are not as important as your viewers getting quality sleep. That's it. 